In Joe Girardi's first year with the Yankees, as a catcher in 1996, he hit a World Series triple in the deciding game. In the center field, it's over the head of Grissom. Girardi is chugging for three. It's an RBI triple, and the Yankees lead by one. Teammates insist made old Yankee Stadium shake and sway with emotion. 21 years later, after four years with the Yankees as a player and 10 more as a manager, the reaction to Girardi in new Yankee Stadium was very different. Number 28, Joe Girardi. Number 28. And now Girardi is out as manager, the final toll extracted. When Girardi took over as the Yankees manager for the 2008 season, he asked for number 27, an aspiration for the organization's 27th World Series title. Ball game over. World Series over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. Girardi and the Yankees attained that in his second year back in the Bronx in the 2009 World Series. And then Girardi switched to number 28, but he never got that. And over time, friends wondered if the relentless toll wore on him, the strain showing in his face. He acknowledged a mistake in this year's playoffs, game two of the division series October 6th, and was roundly criticized by media and fans. You know, I've seen him boo uh, players and managers that have a lot more status than I do. But Girardi's own legacy with the Yankees is cemented. He was a part of that team that restored Yankees' greatness in 1996. He was a leader in a dynasty. He shared in perfection. And Girardi became only the sixth manager in Yankees history to head the team for 10 years. For all of that service, he will be back at Yankee Stadium someday, and he will be cheered again.